God sees your blindness. He sees what you don't have and you lack it and you wanting because other people have. He sees that you don't have vision and other people have. Maybe you don't have a good family and other people have. God sees your situation. Amen. And He is stopping this morning. But when He is stopping, you have to do something. You have to move. You can't be sitting and feeling bad for yourself because this is all that you have done. You have to do something. And this guy, he did something. To see Jesus. Jesus stood still and he said call him. God calls you way before he fixes you. God calls you way before you get your sight. Way before everything is put together. He has calling on your life even when you are blind. He said call him to me. But before the blind Martimaeus had to come to Jesus, he had to do something first. He had to, he said that, 50, and throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. He had to remove his coat that he was covering and hiding in all his life. He had to remove what always been so comfortable, what always he got used to it. Maybe it was a coat that he always hid himself in. You know, the pretty smile that we put on in the morning like we put on our makeup. He had to throw aside the coat that was always there for him. Maybe it's your friends, maybe it's your bottle, maybe it's a cigar or your pipe. Whatever got you by when you are blind, you have to throw aside if you want to see Jesus. Because you cannot come with your garments because Jesus said they are filthy as dirty as rags. We can't come to Jesus with the things that come that covered us instead of comforting because Jesus has a new coat. He has a coat of righteousness. A coat where you will feel loved and you will never feel rejection in your life again. A coat a lies that maybe you told yourself I am like this, I am poor like that, I am supposed to be like that. Your coat has to be removed. Your coat has to be dropped to the floor this morning if you want Jesus to get your attention. If you want God to use your life, you have to leave behind the insecurities and all the things that you have felt all your entire life. The coat has to go. Maybe it's a coat of sin, coat of shame, rejection, whatever you put on yourself to keep yourself warm and cozy. And not only that, you have to leave your beggar cup you have to leave what you've been filling yourself up with. Maybe it's the rejection of people's lives. Maybe it's, it's the things that you let get into you. You have to leave the things you always depended on to fix you, to give you a, a boost, to give you a happiness, to give you that fix. You have to leave the cup of bitterness, cup of sin, cup of things, cup that makes you angry at your life and everybody else that's passing around. You have to leave if you want to see Jesus but I want to let you know that when you leave when you are leaving those things you are coming to a greater season you have to leave the common comfort spot that maybe you and your homies have it because Jesus is calling you to something so much greater that your coat and your cup will never satisfy you